My name's Amber. I'm 30 years old and I'm from Seminole, Florida. My life in the U.S. is very calm, collected, organized, put together. I don't get in trouble. I don't cheat, lie, steal. And I don't mind being single. I love you. Calvin. But on a remote island, you can be whoever you want. I have not necessarily hooked up with a guy on every island I've traveled to. But I definitely got to experience men from different cultures. something about that, it just makes you want more. <laughs> I never imagined any of my tropical flings would become something more until I met Daniel. My name is Daniel. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Venezuela, but I live in Jaco, Costa Rica. In Jaco, this is a destination a lot of tourists, a lot of people around the world come here to visit the beach, to get fun, to get drunk in the bars, in the nightclubs. I like the beautiful girl around the world, visit Jaco but I never thought um, I'm going to be like in something seriously like this. Go, 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 go. One night, I was out at the club with my girlfriend and Daniel and his roommate approached us. Baby, my face is up here. We ended up getting really drunk and going back to the hotel and we kind of had sex our first night. What does that mean? He drank a little too much, a lot of too much. <laughs> I was so disappointed. Because you work up to this whole peak and then can't do nothing with it. <laughs> As I continued to travel, he contacted me every single day. Hey, baby, how are you? I miss you already. And the last trip I made to Costa Rica, I got engaged. We couldn't wait to get the K-1 visa process started so Daniel and I can start our life together. And then COVID hit. Since then, the K-1 visa process has been absolutely miserable. Something that was supposed to be only a four to six month process, I'm on 11 months.